Support for Education, Join the Conversation is provided in part by ENA, provider of high-speed broadband connectivity and communication solutions to Vermont schools, and proud to support the Vermont Agency of Education in improving the learning opportunities for Vermont students. the St. Albans City School today to explore how technology can be used to improve learning. As you know, technology is transforming the world of work and it has dramatic implications for how we think about school. Many of the things that used to be done by people are increasingly done by technology and the challenge for schools is to figure out how to teach children to do the things that, that technology can't do. This includes reasoning from evidence, learning how to think creatively and and, and communicate persuasively. We're here at the St. Albans City School today to look at how this is being tackled in the context of a real school. We invite you in today to look at how teachers are learning to work with technology to improve learning and to teach children not to master a set of facts, but how to become lifelong learners so that when they leave this school, they can enter the world of work in a, in a world where 60% of the jobs that they will have in the future have not yet been created. Our challenge today is to teach students how to learn, and that's what people are doing here at the St. Albans City School. Okay, let's, uh, I know some of you might be still working, but uh, if you, you can just X out and that'll, you can pick up and resume your quiz later today or at home whenever you get a chance to, all right? So what I'm gonna be doing right now. When I, when I look at math, we always look at kids that are, um, I guess just lacking some basic math skills. So we, a few years ago, we, we got on to using some online tools for math. Uh, right now we're into using Khan Academy, Manga High, Buzz Math, which is all really, the old, you know, I wanna say it's not, not like an old fashioned worksheet, but it, it essentially is a pool of, ton of, of math problems aligned to the common core, aligned to just about any skill that you can imagine where I can put a kid on it and, and you can go at their own level, ability level. Um, so if I get a seventh grader that is in uh, coming to me with third or fourth grade skills, I can get them on to Khan Academy or Manga High at the appropriate level. Uh, and, and it gives them the ability to practice uh, that skill. I, I am a coach or an advisor on whatever program, they have a different term, but uh, I'm able to view their progress, what they're having trouble with, what they're having success with, with a, you know, a quick look at their profile, I can get a sense of what that kid might need for extra curriculum um, interventions or just some more time to practice a certain skill. Any tool we've been using, it gives me a good sense of where they're at, but then they also are able to modify where they're going. So it's just multiplying by itself instead of it being two to the power of x or y was flipped. So like something... Well, it could actually go either way. Well, that was a different type of... Technology is definitely progressing. And so our ability to be learning this, like while we're in elementary school and middle school, will be definitely better in the future knowing how to use this. And I feel that our future, um, a lot of the jobs that are involving a lot of technology aren't going to be around when we are. So I feel that our school, especially, is planning better for the future. For school, I use uh, PowerSchool, which is a generally used thing. It's used up at BFA as well. Uh, that just shows it documents all your grades, your grade point average, all that stuff. And so your that's, parents have access to that as well? Yes, yeah. it's access to your parents. Um, you can get an email if your grades yeah. go down or up. Yeah. Um, that's accessible from home. It's, we look at it before class every single day. You can tell if you're incomplete you can, and all that stuff. Um, I use Google Documents in my other classes to, um, so I don't have to write everything out. And through Google Documents, you can hand things into your teachers and they can read them right on and comment right online. So it's saving paper and saving time. It's a month and a half that we've been working on these projects and we're going to submit these today. So what I'd like to see and make sure, which I can see that you all are, you're in your groups uh, that you worked in for East Cyber Mission, and I want you to take one last look. Collaborate together for five minutes. 
My name is Brian Clark, and I, I'm a teacher here at St. Albans City School. Uh, I have been, this is my seventh year. Um, and I teach uh, literacy to four, five, and six, as well as science and social studies. Uh, I happened to graduate here in 1998, I think. Um, my grandmother was a teacher here as well, and so I got to um, practice through her. I got to go in her classroom when I went through college, and uh, right out of college, I got my job here. So it's kind of nice to help the kids that. And another fun fact, uh, one of my teammates was my teacher, so it's kind of nice to, to do that. I, I teach everything through Google, and everything is accessed online. And when I first started this, I didn't, I wasn't a Google teacher. I used, like, might have used Word or, or OpenOffice or something like that. But one of the issues I had was um, kids and their work, and they were always losing their work. So for me, this is great because it's always there with them. They can go home. If they, I have a lot of kids who don't work. Uh, finish their work here and they go home and work on it. He's been my writing teacher for the last three years and we've used technology through all of those three years a lot. It's really helped me through my studies because if I ever have like a question about homework or anything at home I can just email him because at school we got taught about how to use all of that technology. Some of the tools I use to communicate with him are like Gmail and Sometimes if like you on Google Docs, if you are on the same writing piece at the same time, you can chat with a person. So sometimes say I'm doing writing homework, I can ask Mr. Clark what I need to do on my writing piece or something like that. So today the kids, uh, we've been working on East Cyber Mission, which is a program sponsored by the Army. Um, and it's all about making the environment better um, and doing this through the scientific method or the engineering design method. And so kids got, to, they gave us subcategories and they got to choose um, a category of interest to them. And all of them are around um, making things better. And so uh, what you're going to see today is the culmination of this and we're going to turn in our projects um, to the cyber mission. Well, our project, um, we are trying to reduce the amount of plastic bags getting thrown away. There's one trillion getting thrown away each year worldwide and then three billion getting thrown away in, throughout the U.S. We are using our technology by um, searching the sites and we have to check three sites um, to know it's like actual facts. And then we can't plagiarize, we have to put it into our own words. Then we have to cite the um, website by going on to easybib.com. We have a project on Taylor Park, which is a local park here, and littering and how they can, um, the, the placement of the garbage cans and how that might affect more litter versus less litter. I have a student, a group of students who, uh, they were also sick of seeing things in the landfill like uh, uh, soda cans. Aluminum cans are in our landfill. Which is over 45, 45 million a year. And we're gonna be making a can out of plastic to it will like take a fraction out of the time that it takes to like for an aluminum can, can to biodegrade which takes 150 to 200 years yeah so we're going to try to make a can that can decrease that a lot of nerves i can feel it three two one submit And Rebecca, it was great to have you come today t for this visit. And uh, I know that you were, you were doing some tours around. What were, what were some things maybe that you know you saw that kind of stuck in your mind about ways they were using technology? I, I was I really was so glad to have this opportunity to see what it looks like when schools really do try to work to use technology to improve learning. And I, I just wanted to share a couple thoughts that were expressed by an eighth grade student named Jared, who really talked about how when he uses the educational technology. It's changed what they're learning. What they're learning is how to learn. And what they're able to do is collaborate and communicate, not just with the person next to them, but the person across the room or the person in the other classroom, or gather information from around the world. So really, the kind of work they're doing has changed. And it's really about applying it to real world solutions and problems like the challenge here. We have a challenging problem that doesn't have an easy solution. They're working with others, gathering information, reasoning from evidence, and trying to figure out how to come up with, with good solutions. Yeah. And it was just really impressive to see the work people were doing. It's great. I, I yeah. think one of the pieces here at the school is just seeing how um, they're using the technology to really support the learning, and it's mm -hmm. not about the technology. So right. we're, As really one of the students that. said, what we're really learning is how to learn. Yeah, that's great.
Support for Education, Join the Conversation is provided in part by ENA, provider of high-speed broadband connectivity and communication solutions to Vermont schools, and proud to support the Vermont Agency of Education in improving the learning opportunities for Vermont students.